Yeah. All right. Well, gold, as we just heard from Phil, is headed higher. Sure. U.S. Mint now halting its online sale of gold collector coins. Quite the buzz this year's World's Fair of Money, the world's largest gathering of coin collectors. And Jeff Locke is there in Rosemont, Illinois, near Chicago, checking out the scene for us. And Jeff, people really looking to melt these historic coins because of the price of gold. It got, that's why they cut off the sale of collector coins because the price of gold got so close. This place is incredible. World's Fair of Money, all sorts of money here silver, gold, foreign coins, paper money, uh, just incredible. But the, you're absolutely right. The focus is on gold and actually as a way potentially of diversifying portfolio uh, beyond buying uh, bullion or buying coins. And Mike Fulgens actually wrote the book on the collection of gold coins. And Mike, thanks for the time and thanks for letting me. Dig my fingers into your uh, into your piles of gold here. Look at this. What am I looking at? You're looking at double eagles, twenty dollar Liberty gold coins issued from 1877 to 1907. They have almost a full ounce of pure gold in them. So that means this coin, if it's a full ounce of pure gold, that's worth about what two almost two grand. Almost about two thousand dollars with about 1,750 to 1,780 in gold in it. Is this a viable way to diversify my portfolio right now? I mean. You sell both bullion, and explain that, because a lot of people don't understand. What's the difference between bullion and gold coins? Well, bullion coins are sold at a small premium over spot or melt gold. So American Eagle Gold bullion coins are the most popular. They sell at about 5% over spot. These are what would be called numismatic or collector gold coins, but they are the most common ones. So they sell at about 10 to 15% over gold spot. What else am I seeing here? What else have you got? Well, in here we have the St. Gaudens Double Eagles. $20 gold pieces. The fellow who designed this back in Teddy Roosevelt's admin. Correct. One of the most famous designers in our country's history designed these, and they were issued in 1907, and the last issue was 1933. There was just a court battle over the 1933 being legal to own. And in terms of what legal to own and, and stuff that people might have, uh, Chris is not a, a collector of uh, coins, but a lot of us, I've got silver, like rolls of silver, uh, you know, uh, dimes and uh, quarters. If you've got those, is this a good time to actually liquidate? Well, it's a good time to consider it, but make sure you go to a reputable dealer, BBB accredited, leading organizations. Those silver quarters, major dealers here will pay 25, 28 times face. So let's say a dime is worth $2.80. A quarter is worth over six and a quarter. So don't sell them for three times face or four times face because they have a big newspaper ad. Find a major credit dealer, and you'll get 25 times face. Show me uh, the, before we get away, real quick. Show me this one that's worth 50 grand. Is that worth which one is which one's worth? The original St. Gaudens, the first group that was struck, that St. Gaudens wanted struck in high relief, struck four to seven times to bring out all the detail. This particular coin is in high grade, certified by one of the two leading grading services. Fifty thousand dollars. You should have collected when you were young. There. Mr. Cotter? No, I'm still paying for it literally to this day, Jeff. Thank I'll tell you, you, the way the markets are going and all this uncertainty and volatility, and the big banks are calling for $2,500 an ounce on the price of gold, so there's time.